The first thing that strikes you is the heat. The temperature in these ovens is over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That makes the studio feel like a hot day in Miami. But Karine is too busy to notice. She's making another urn. That's right, an urn. It does seem a bit morbid, she says. But when I make the glass, I don't think of it as an urn. I think of it as a work of art. Sometimes I think it's weird. Uh, some people find it morbid, but it really isn't. I mean, I don't necessarily deal with, with the ashes or the, the people. I deal just with the product. Her partner, Claude Harvey, helped launch the company three years ago. A friend of ours had a little baby, and uh, unfortunately the baby passed away. And the parents came to us asking us to produce uh, a unique urn. And so Karine, the glass artist, um, had the idea of making um, a glass urn. And after this, we just showed this urn to funeral directors, funeral home directors, and they loved it. From that one urn, a business was born. And now Karine's urns are being sold across Montreal and North America. The urns hold a lot of appeal because they're handmade and not too expensive. The price ranges from $500 up to $1,000. It's a very individual urn. Uh, no one is uh, identical. It's very unique and it's, uh, it's like a piece of art. Karine also makes other kinds of glass art. Bowls, vases, paperweights. But she's found her niche, providing eternal homes for people across the continent. It's actually fascinating. We get to produce something that someone will rest in forever. You know? I mean, not everybody has that chance.